I am Professor L.B. Gaikwad who is teaching today the new topic and you know we have started the 10 series in which today I am discussing about the simple present tense. The subjects are he, she, it and the words are there which end with x, y, z, o, h, h, ch and yes. Remember here I have taken the verb here which ends with x. So relax. Relax means rest. So the example is he relaxes, he relaxes under the tree. So remember here this is the he subject that's why and at the end of the verb there is x so we have used here es suffix. Then under the tree is the particular uh, extra words I will tell you. So he relaxes under the tree it means that here when the subject is he see it and at the end of the verb there is x y z o h s c h then we use the es suffix that is the important thing which here I am telling you. So remember he relaxes under the tree she relaxes under the tree it relaxes under the tree William Shakespeare relaxes under the tree Mohan relaxes under the tree Hema relaxes under the tree in this way we can make the sentence. Now this is the positive sentence remember this is the positive sentence if we want now the negative sentence then the negative sentence will be like this he relaxes will be does, doesn't relax remember how see this is this is the particular sentence which is positive and this is the particular sentence which is negative so here remember he is the subject and uh, here is the es suffix so we took does here then we have to make it negative that's why we used here not and then uh, this does came here that's why this es came here in the form of does and now there is only remain word is relax and that's why we wrote here the word relax so the sentence is he doesn't relax under the tree so remember this is the example and this example is very important so we can speak like this uh, he doesn't relax under the tree she doesn't relax under the tree it doesn't relax under the tree William Shakespeare doesn't relax under the tree Hema doesn't relax under the tree in this way we can speak here and we write here English so if you want to speak in English then you can use here such type of words when there is x y z o h h c h and s are at the end of the verbs that is very important so now marry remember marry so marry is the verb and at the end of the verb there is y and that's why it will be marries remember y will be i and there will be es suffix so I will say he marries, she marries and it marries. Okay. So remember uh, he means William Shakespeare marries. He means I will tell you um, Kishore marries. She means Rambha marries. Hema marries. It means uh, I will say I will say here the, uh, the 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 elephant she elephant marries like this we can speak so remember he marries he marries a girl she marries a boy and it marries an animal in this way we can say so remember here my point is that when the subjects are he she it and when the verbs are there 
uh, at the end of which there is x y z o h s c h yes then we can use uh, es suffix to the particular um, to the particular verb es means we use their es suffix that is the important point i want to tell you now the next verb is buzz remember buzz so buzz is the verb we shows the uh, here voice buzzing that is the uh, sweet uh, sweet uh, 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 voice i will say so remember buzz so buzz there is z at the end of the verb so there will be es suffix at the end of the verb when there is the uh, subjects he see it so he buzzes he buzzes there she buzzes there remember and it buzzes there so remember here my point is that when the subjects are he she it then we can use es suffix to the verb but the condition is that there should be x y z o h s c h e s at the end of the verbs that is the important point so here he buzzes means he makes the particular sound uh, uh, sorry uh, that is the sound but actually he uh, makes the voice there she makes the voice there and it uh, buzzes there means if it is it is the animal then it will be the voice if it is the machine then it will be the uh, sound that is the particular explanation so remember here i am telling you the new rule and that new rule is that now see go so if the verb is go or if there is the o at the end of the verb then we uh, add es suffix to the verb and it becomes the verb goes so he goes he goes to the party he goes to the party she goes to the party she goes to the party in this way we can we can we can write and we can speak the sentences remember he goes to the party she goes to the party it goes to the party or we can say uh, kishor goes to the party kishori goes to the party uh, kolarij goes to the party sara goes to the party in this way we can say she means here it is the female and so we can use there the female names and we can uh, use here suppose sara goes to the party now i want uh, i want to tell you here the negative sentences so remember here goes is here and goes is here so we can we can uh, do the negative like this remember uh, he subject is there then here es suffix so i will take does so i took this es here in the form of does so there remain go so this go is there and then i used there not because i want to make it negative so uh, the sentence became he does not go and now i will write the i will write the uh, extra word words or i will write there i will speak there the remaining words so remember here i will tell you to the party so remember here the sentence has become like this so he doesn't he doesn't go to the party she doesn't go to the party in this way the sentence will be so my point is that when uh, there is goes it becomes doesn't go when there means when there is es suffix then the negative is doesn't go doesn't uh, play like this suppose uh, invites uh, invites is there invites so remember here is the es suffix so the negative will be does not invite like this so remember we can do like this so now yes such means 
Now cherish. Cherish. Remember, here is the yashach alphabet at the end of the verb. So I will add ts. So it became cherishes or cherishes. Now remember, uh, he cherishes. He cherishes good habits. Good habits with him. Remember, with him. So remember, what is the meaning? He means this subject cherishes means he he keeps with him good habits means uh, well habits with him means uh, under his body. That is the important thing. Now, when I want to uh, make this negative, the negative will be like this. Remember, cherish. So remember, cherish means here this cherish has become cherishes. So this is the ES, so I will take does and then this ES has been, this ES has come here in the form of does. So now there is the cherish remained, there is cherish remained and so and then I want to make it negative. So I will take here negative means doesn't, so doesn't cherish and I will take here the subject he and then I will complete the sentence means good habits. So remember here the point is that the negative sentence has come here is that he doesn't cherish good habits. He cherishes good habits. He doesn't cherish good habits. She cherishes good habits. Uh, she doesn't cherish good habits. Like this we can speak English. So remember here these are the verbs and we are discussing about these verbs. So uh, ch means remember teach. Now see this is the verb teach and at the end of the verb there is ch. So I will uh, add here es so it will be teaches or teaches. Teaches or teaches. So I will make the example positive. He teaches or he teaches good English. He teaches good English. Remember, he teaches good English. So remember here, this is the he subject. That's why. And at the end of the verb, there is ch. So I used here es suffix to it as per as per the rule. And then I took here the uh, object and then I took here, uh, we can, we can take here the, here the extra words. So he teaches good English to his students. We can say to his students, we can say like this to his students. So remember now, this is the example. I will show you these, uh, this uh, example uh, in the in the in the form of the negative sentence remember here is the teaches so teaches here is the es so i will take does because es means does and then now this es came here in the form of does so there remain teach and then i will take not here because i want to make it negative and so i took like this and then I will take the subject and then I will take the um, uh, I will take here the uh, object English and then I will take the remaining words to his students to his students. So remember here my point is that my point is that here negative will be like this teaches does not teach and then uh, like this, he teach, he does not teach, means he doesn't make the habit of teaching uh, like this um, or he teaches good English to his students, means here, make, may, here he makes the good habit of teaching, that is the explanation. So remember here, when at the end of the verb there is X, Y, Z, O, S, S, C, H and S yes, um, uh, alphabets, then we, we add E, S suffix to the main verb and we speak like this. Now see press P R E double S press. This is the press. Here is the yes. So uh, press 
plus es it will be precise it will be precise so remember he precise he precise the cloth he precise the cloth so remember here he is the subject that's why uh, here i use es suffix to the verb because uh, th there is the yes uh, alphabet at the end of this verb and that's why i used here es suffix so it, it bec the sentence became he precedes the cloth and it the negative will be he uh, es suffix means does then the uh, the verb is press why because es came here as does and then the verb is there only press so i put here uh, press and then i want to make it negative so i put uh, not there so he doesn't press uh, in this way the sentence came before us and then the uh, remaining part is there so the cloth so this is the sentence so he doesn't press the cloth means he does not do the habit of pressing the cloth and here he presses the cloth means he did that action and he presses the cloth so remember here my point is my point is that when we use he seeds uh, he seeds subjects in the simple present tense then we um, uh, use es uh, suffix to the verbs if the verbs end end with x y z o h h c h z like this so this rule i uh, took here with you and i told you the practice positive in the sense of the positive sentences and in the sen sense of the negative sense sentences so here i will stop how you felt this video please tell me in the comment box and watch this share this with this i stop here thank you thank you very much